How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Listen, on previous videos I've talked a little bit about things that you can uh, carry with you out on the trail to keep yourself safe and warm. You guys have shared some of your ideas about what you should carry. Now there was one topic that I didn't cover at the time because I wanted to do a little bit more research and that was personal locating devices. So I think it's a really important piece of electronic equipment to carry with you, particularly if you're getting back off the, the trail and you're a backcountry rider. So that's what we're going to do in two seconds, so stick around. All right, guys, I don't think of snowmobiling as a particularly dangerous sport. If you're careful, you ride appropriately, you use the right equipment, etc. Um, but that said, it does take you into a fairly hostile environment. If you are a backcountry rider, obviously, and or even if you're just a trail rider and you get way back, um, then even being a few miles, if nobody knows where you are, can be a big deal. And that's where a personal locating device comes in. So the one that I ended up choosing and the one that I'm going to talk about today is the McMurdo Fast Find Ranger. All right, guys, let's face it. Most of us are never going to transit the Antarctic. You may not think of snowmobiling as a, an extreme sport. So for a lot of us, you never even thought about one of these things. This is still something I would advocate for for a recreational snowmobiler. All right, now this is fairly typical of where I ride, right? I'm not 50 miles back in the backcountry, but I am a few miles off a main trail or a road uh, where somebody's going to come by if I get into trouble. You know, so when the temperature is really low or the weather's really bad, that something that's fairly treatable, like a broken leg, can turn into something quite significant out here. So there's a couple of reasons that I chose this one after doing a fair bit of reading. So one, it uses a 406 megahertz signal. So that's a much more powerful signal than some of the ones that use like a 1610 megahertz. That means it's going to go through obstructions like trees if you're back in the bush. With frequencies, the lower numbers are more likely to penetrate things like trees and overhangs and even buildings. All right, so this is something I'm going to use when stuff really goes south. I'm not going to call for help casually on this. I'm hurt. I'm incapacitated. It's 32 below. I'm screwed unless I get help. I look at my cell phone, I haven't got any signal here, but I do have this. Now, because you're probably going to be injured or sick or in really bad way when you use one of these, then ease of operation is important too. So there's a couple of steps to activate this. So I'm going to flip this up. I'm going to pull the top off. I'm going to extend the antenna. I'm going to make sure that the GPS antenna is not covered. I'm going to press the on button. So once this is activated, it's going to transmit. It's going to transmit for over 24 hours. It's going to transmit my GPS location and a unique identifier because I've registered this on their network. All right, so with that one button, it's going to be transmitting directly to a dedicated not-for-profit search and rescue organization. That signal is going to be relayed to your local search and rescue professionals and they're going to come and find you. So the Ranger leverages Copus Sarsat. Now that's an international treaty-based search and rescue program. I think there's 43 signature nations. Um, now MEOSAR, the space-based component of that, is actually adding 72 new satellites to be in place by 2020. So that network just keeps growing. All right, so on the plus side, again, you've got that frequency that's going to punch through trees and obstructions and overhangs. Uh, in terms of power, it's 5 watts, so it's a powerful unit. Um, it's the unit itself is well constructed. It's really rugged and rubberized. It's waterproof to 10 meters. Now coming in just under $300, it is slightly more expensive than some of the other ones on the market. But there's no monthly user fee, so that makes a big difference. And really, it's the price of a couple of trail permits. It does come with a pouch, so you could wear it on your belt. Personally, I like the lanyard that it comes with, so I can keep it inside my coat and keep it warm. All right, now there's very few things on the minus side with this unit. So on the front is a test button, and that's one thing that some people complain about, that it can be kind of hard to push. You could actually even need to get a pen to press it to test the battery. It's supposed to be that way, right? You don't want to be hitting that button accidentally and using your battery, because you want the battery there when you need it. The lithium manganese battery in this is something that might put some people off, because it's not user replaceable, right? So you have to send this in to get it replaced. But the flip side of it it's got a six-year battery life so probably in six years time I'm gonna be onto a new piece of tech anyway now if you just like to ditch bang or ride around your property I can understand why you wouldn't want to spend the money on something like this but if you're riding out in the backcountry at all then definitely this is something you want to look at so certainly this is a product that I trust is gonna work when I need it really recommend you do your own research because these products are not all created equal so really make sure you ask those questions right in terms of frequency and battery life and do a comparison overall before you make your decision. These are the kinds of things that you're probably never going to use, but when you need to use it, you're going to absolutely want to make sure that it works, that it's reliable, uh, and that it's going to get you out of trouble as quickly as it can. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you found that video useful. That's the McMurdo Fast Find Ranger. Now, obviously, I hope you never have to use one of these things, but if you do choose to buy one, I hope that helped you make up your mind. Uh, if you liked that video, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you subscribe, I try and post new content as frequently as I can, particularly during the riding season. Until next time, I'm Dave Clark. Thanks for watching.